Hi guys, revisiting the universal motor from the hairdryer for a third time. Uh, inspired, supported, guided by Mike Flight and Hermit Old Guy. Mike Flight, in one of his previous comments, had suggested separating out the wires so we could feed the coils separately. And Hermit Old Guy did the maths and explained how we could do it without having to use the 250 volts power supply. So I've got it rigged up. Uh, so, so I've separated out all, all the wires and the coils. So top coil, field coil, is these two wires. The bottom one is these two wires. And these green ones are the ones going to the brushes that feed the armature. So, um, her, Hermit Old Guy's suggestion was to put these two coils in parallel rather than series. In, with the original motor, the power went in one wire, through the coil, out, through the armature, out, through the other coil. So it's all in series, so you had high resistance, which kept the power down because it reduced the current flow. But that also meant when I tried to use my 12 volt motor out in the garage, the car battery, even though it had plenty of capacity, it couldn't pump any more current through it due to the resistance. So at 12 volts, with whatever we worked out the resistance to be, the current flow was sort of microamps effectively. So we've rigged it up now. Two field coils are in parallel. And I can actually run this with my LiPo batteries. Although only just run it. I'll show you what I mean. If I power the field coils with, well, we'll say 7.5 volts, we've still got a fairly high resistance, so this doesn't get hot. We're not burning the wires or anything like that. And then if I put this is a 3S, so 11.1 .1 volts, probably about 12 volts. Put that on there. It doesn't jump into life because we still need to give it a bit of a kick start. But it's working. And nothing I could do yesterday in the shed with my car battery with plenty of current, plenty of capacity, we couldn't get this to move. So what I'll do now is I'll go out in the shed and we'll see if we can get it running any better um, with the car battery. Out in the shed, car battery over there, universal motor here. And I've used proper electrical connectors there to hold the wires a bit tighter than those quick clip ones I was using. Uh, got LiPo battery feeding into the armature and then I'll connect up the 12 volt battery to the um, field coils, the magnet coils. Well, it's not exactly shooting away any faster than it did with the LiPo batteries, to be honest. I mean, it is working. Still needs a bit of a kick to get it going. The only other thing I was going to try was to try it without the LiPo battery. Just run it straight off the car battery. So disconnect that. Nothing. Oh, let's 
come loose, that's why. That's better. Okay, so now we're running universal motor, DC battery, 12 volts. And the real thing, the real difference between today and the other day is that we've moved these coils into parallel instead of series. So everything's paralleled up so the resistance is significantly lower so the current flow is probably higher and the wires aren't getting hot yet. There's a bit of warmth in the motor not hot, but a little bit of warmth in there. So we are now working DC, 12 volts, universal motor. Yeah, working. Uh, can I reverse it? Yep, so if I reverse the current flow through the armature, we get the re reverse direction. Sorry it's a bit dark in here. But uh, yeah, I think we can see it's working the other way. So that's that. And then there was one other thing I wanted to try which was spin the motor and see if we get any voltage out of it while we got current flowing through the um, field coils. So, car battery feeding current through the field coils on the universal motor and then we got that round on the 200 milliamp hour scale. So, Spin this up. Reverse the direction. Switch that round to voltage. 20 volt scale. why you would want to do that I'm not sure but yeah so with current flowing through the field coils we generate electricity by spinning the armature so thanks to Hermit Old Guy and Mike Flight we finally got some results out of the universal motor although I can't honestly see a practical use for it Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.